It is great seeing my next guest back in action. He's going to be taking on Chris Gutzmacher coming up here at UFC Fight Night on December 4th. It's coming up right around the corner here. It is Claudio Plenes joining me here on the program again. Claudio, how are you, sir? Very good, very good, uh, James. Happy to be here again. Yes, it's... It's, uh, it's always great talking to you, my man. Uh, we see you're at Sanford MMA, live on location. How long have you been back in Florida? Uh, I think I've been back. So I fought in June, and I got back here like mid-July. So, oh, awesome. Uh, okay. Once, I think, I believe. Uh, Excellent. I've been doing really good. been doing a lot of adjustments since my last, since my last fight, uh, working a lot on basically everything. I've been given a, a lot of uh, cardio work for this fight. Because I know the the opponent likes to like come forward a lot, so uh, pressure. So I'm ready. I'm ready for for like three round five, for one round five, whatever happens. Were you trying to fight a little bit sooner just from your last fight, or was this the right amount of time off? Yeah, a little sooner. I thought I thought they were gonna give me a fight for September, I believe. Yeah, but it didn't happen. So uh, I ended up fighting in in December, which. At the end, it was good because I got a, like a little injury uh, about like August, so I didn't get to train very well like that month. So September would have been like, a little too soon. So, uh, oh no, this date it ended up working perfect. That's great. Um, th what, what was the injury, if you don't mind me asking? Are you trying to keep that top secret? Yeah, it's kind of secret. <laughs> there you go. Okay, well at least we know. Uh, in nothing, like nothing crazy. Yeah, nothing but, serious. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That like sounds good. That kept me from training for like a month, but it's all good. Let's talk about your opponent here. 15 and 4 record. How do you feel like you match up against him? Uh, I feel like he's, he's good, like tough guy. So uh, I expect him to come uh, looking for a fight. And I'm good. I just feel uh, probably like more technical. So I'm just gonna, trying to try to keep it like that. You know, like he's going to, he, ha he has his style. I have my own. I'm going to, he's going to try to impose his game, I know. And, um, but I'm going to impose mine. <laughs> so is that, it's not. It's not it's not very scientific, you know, it's very simple. Like we keep it simple here and that's just what I'm going to do. You got a lot of uh, training partners at your gym. Is there anyone you're working with a little bit more than others as far as uh, main training partners ahead of this fight? Uh, no, like on the daily basis, I work with like all the guys my weight. But uh, on sparring days, I try to like look for like the best guys, like the guys that I know like uh, are probably going to it's probably gonna be like the toughest for me to uh, to beat, so I get better. You know, like if I only like mm -hmm. pick guys that are like uh, behind me, like you know, in terms of like fighting, I know I'm probably I know that I can beat them like easy. So I don't like that. I like going for the for the toughest challenges. So like every time I'm like fighting like in my head and everywhere to like to like uh, win the rounds. Who are who are some of the the harder fighters over there? I mean, just some that come to mind: Rafael Fiziev. Uh, who who are some other uh, lightweights you get to work with over there? Yeah, uh, Rafael Fiziev, uh, Chandler, uh, Tofik Musayev, uh, Adam Boris. A lot of guys, a lot of tall guys. Uh, I get really, a lot of more. Not only those, but uh, those were like some of the the ones I got rounds in today uh, with. But um, yeah, besides that, those like we have a lot of like also guys that may not be very well known right uh, yet, but are very good. Very good. Like, no easy rounds. Like, no easy rounds today. That's good. Um, no disrespect to your opponent, but in some ways, is the camp almost harder than the fight when you're getting to spar with guys like Michael Chandler? I mean, we just saw him. I have a really close fight with Justin Gaethje. Do you feel like being at Sanford really, you know, over prepares you, if anything, for for your fights? Yeah. So, so we know anything can happen in a fight. So mm -hmm. that's why I don't like you said. Like, I'm not trying to like be disrespe disrespectful to him because like he. He has his own career as well, and he deserves like some respect. But at the same time, that sparring like guys that caliber, like we were talking, does give me like a lot of confidence. Like guys that are proven more than my next opponent, and uh, that I well may may as well be more skilled and are tough as well. So yeah, that gives me a lot of uh, like a confidence booster, like coming into like a fight uh, with an opponent like this, which has a good record. Like 15 and 4 is like pretty good. But uh, well, I'm I want to add another loss to his record. Yeah, absolutely. Who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, Henry Hooft, uh, main coach, head coach, sorry. Um, Greg Jones, my wrestling coach. And um, and uh, Enrique Hernandez, who is my uh, PT. Awesome. That sounds great. And how's this fight playing out on December 4th? How do you envision it playing out? Well, I think he's going to try to push the pace. So I'm, I'm going to try to keep him at the end of like my strikes. Uh, I don't know if we go to the, if we go to the ground. 
I, I mean, it's an MMA fight and I love grappling, so we may end up on the ground, which I hope I can get some good work in. But uh, I'm actually preparing for like a tough grind, grinding fight. I'm preparing for that. I know he, he's going to try to do that. If I can take him out, that's awesome. And if not, I expect like a three long three uh, long five-minute rounds. Where does a win put you uh, over Chris Gutzmacher? He's a he's a veteran, obviously a notable guy. Uh, do you feel like that gets you closer to that ranked opponent? I do think. I do think. Uh, I think it depends a lot on how the fight how the fight ends. If I get a nice finish, I think it will like put me really close to to rank opponent. And uh, if not, maybe not that close. But uh, I don't know. It depends on me. You know, I wanna yeah. I wanna do my best to to get the finish. Now, without looking past this fight, are you planning on going back home for the holidays, or are you gonna stay in Florida uh, during during the holiday season? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stay. Last time after the last fight, I went. Uh, I could go back, but. Uh, you know, too much hassle right now. Um, too much hassle on um, all the vaccine stuff and like all this stuff they're requiring for traveling. And I'm, I don't really want to go through that, all that right now. I want to relax after my fight, not having to be, not, not. I don't want to be thinking about like all that. So I might do some vacation around like uh, states. Like there's a lot of places I haven't like visited yet. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I might go to I don't know Yellowstone or some park somewhere. That's cool. That's good. Is is uh, you gonna have any family come out, or you'll probably just be be on your own? Uh, nah, just on my own with my girlfriend. And uh, yeah, I have some family here. I have some uh, my dad and I have two brothers in in here in, in Miami in three hundred five. Oh, really? Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Okay, well that that makes it better. Then you get in some family for the holidays, right? So that's yeah. good. I mean, they live in the same. They live like forty five minutes away, so I can always. Oh, get, perfect. Yeah, I probably I usually see them like twice a month at least. Nice. That's great, man. Uh, well, we're looking forward to this fight. UFC Fight Night, December 4th. Claudio, always appreciate the time, man. If there's anyone you want to thank, any sponsors, any social media, I'll give you the last word. Uh, yep. Yeah, make sure to follow me on uh, Instagram. Uh, Claudio, Claudio Puelas, you're going to find me with a blue check, you know. And uh, yeah, thank you for, for the interview and thank you for for the followers as well. Um, make sure to like tune into my fight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this finished for sure. Been training hard in this gym. Uh, thank you to Sanford MMA for the great camp, man. I can't be, I couldn't be like uh, more thankful for all this that's happened in my this this year in my fight career. Like, I really want to get the the streak, the win streak going, man. Like, up to four.